Save this video if you're studying for coding interviews. Here I have a big O complexity chart, all of the common runtimes and the ranking of which is preferred. The very worst you could do is O of n factorial, which may come up if you're solving a problem like permutations via backtracking. From there, we would prefer an exponential algorithm. This would come up if you're solving the subsets problem for every single number, you choose it or you don't. From here, we would prefer an O of n squared or quadratic algorithm. That comes up when you use a nested loop, which will give all possible pairs of items. From here, we have a massive improvement down to O of n log n, and it comes up when we do things like sorting. From here, we would prefer O of n, which simply means that you go through the array of numbers, there is a constant amount of just going through the array. O of just log n is a lot better than just O of n, and that comes up when you can use binary search. O of 1, or constant time, means we don't even care about the input, it is always going to take the same very quick amount of time. You'll often need to reference this image, so be sure to 